Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 2 episode... Oh my gosh, what episode is it? 17? I think it's 17 and this is going to be a good one because this is finally, at last, after much preparation, uh, Diamond, Diamond's wedding. And girl is such a hottie McNaughty. I love her. I really do. <laughs> but yeah, today's going to be her wedding, so I don't know. We're... <laughs> Augustus is at work and I'm, I'm sorry, it just does not feel right for him to be at work on the day of his wedding. I mean, who does that? I, I don't know. I don't know. And Jem, what are you doing? Oh, Jem's at high school. Fair enough. Well, sorry, buddy, but you've got to come home too. Uh, we might just get him to have something to eat when he's home. Get something into that tummy. And damn, this looks good. Have you guys ever grilled bananas and peaches and apple? I've grilled peaches before for a grilled peach salad and I put rocket in it and nuts and, oh, maybe it was seeds. It was really good. Like with lettuce as well, not just like grilled peach and nuts. Uh, not that that won't be nice. And maybe we should just get Barbie to have a few quick winks of sleep. So we'll just get her to go up there quickly and um, just make sure she's in as good a mood as possible on her wedding day. A few of you guys were saying, I don't understand why Deli doesn't keep their needs happy. And guess what? I just don't keep my Sims very happy. I don't know. I've always been like that. It's not that I don't know how to keep them happy and I haven't played the games for like ever. Uh, I just... I don't know. I just don't care about their needs as much as I probably should and a lot of you viewers get annoyed. But I'll try in this part. I promise. I'll try. We'll make them feel real good. And we're going to start that up by Jim having that real good grilled fruit. Uh -huh. mm -mm -mm. Isn't he cute? Actually, a few of you guys said, oh, Jim should totally have a makeover uh, for the wedding. So when he's at the wedding, all the girls will be like, ooh, Jim, how you going? So maybe we should give him a really nice new haircut just let him look a little bit different maybe he should get a little bit of stubble towards the end of his teenage years because when i was in high school a lot of guys were getting facial hair uh in like year nine so like mid i don't know what you call it in the u.s or in uk or europe but like halfway through high school so let's change his appearance when he's ready to do that diamond's just getting her energy up beautiful I know, we're missing work. Oh, fine. We'll, we'll take a proper day off. Can we take a day off after they've called? Okay, let's take a... Let's take a vacation. Not take a vacation. Take a vacation day. Oh my gosh, our bills. Oof, that is... We should move soon, actually. Let me know in the comments down below where you guys would like to move to. And damn, girls got some... Got some uh, lady lumps. I like my lady lumps. My lump, my lump, my lump. Check it out. The boys. So. Just Fergie. My oh, man. he's just chatting to his I'm big sister face. on a big day. <gasps> With her big tummy. She's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Mom's going to notice I'm pregnant <laughs> in my wedding dress. And... I don't know. I feel like, even though Jem's like, why would you do that, Diamond? I feel like... At the same time, it would be kind of an amazing surprise for your daughter to work, walk out in a wedding dress with a belly as well. You'd be like, oh my god, my daughter's getting married and she's having a puppy. So sweet. Okay. Uh, Diamond, you can go back to sleep now. The girl. The girl. And Jem, oh, you could get a few quick winks as well. I, why didn't you... I wish you had listened to me and you had actually changed your appearance, but you know what? You probably couldn't get to that mirror. It's full of stuff in the way. Okay. Okay. What do we want? Half walls. Where do we find them? What do we want? I want a color wheel, but will that ever happen? I don't know. Never say never. I'm going to keep believing. Don't stop believing. We should keep his hair the color it's always been because I feel like he wouldn't dye his hair. And I know some of you guys are really not going to love the stubble, but okay, we're not doing that. Let's give him a beard. He could become like hipster. Ooh, hipster gem. He's named after a rock. What is, what is that little bit of 
graphic tearing. Why are you doing this to me? So we could do something like that. Like that's okay because it's very minimal. It's kind of like he's just started to get his first bit of stubble. So let's do that. And he's just starting to shave a little bit. Nah, that looks a bit too dark. Oh no! Damn, damn Jim, damn, damn Jim, damn Jim. You can't even see that. Oh, the pink one like looks kind of normal. Okay, let's see. What does it look like without it? Does it make a difference? Oh, it does make a difference. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm totally distracted right now. Okay, let's let's do this. Don't stop the Why is it not working? It's not working. Oh there we go. Screw it. We're just gonna go with this one. Oh I can't choose it. Looks yellow and then it looks red. What looks normal here? Let's do that one. Okay, we're done. Oh, that was stressful. Uh, alrighty, so let's go... No. No. Oh, that's so sexy, but that's so Taj from Sorority LP. What is this? I don't know. I d this I'm not into. I feel like he's got a pancake head. Like, he needs some volume. That's actually quite handsome. I don't mind that, but it's a little bit thorn from Twins LP. Ah, uh, yes. Love. Yep. Oh, is this the same as his brother's haircut? I can't remember. But I think it's okay if they have a similar hairstyle for a little while. I don't like this one. We're not doing that. That is just like, I think that's a little bit too much for him. I could try it for a little while, but I was, I, I was really digging this one. All right, I think that is just hot to trot. So let's go with that. Should we make his eyebrows a little bit darker these days? You know, since he's since his, uh, aging up a little bit, those uh, eyebrows are getting a little bit more bushy. Mm, bushy eyebrows, not that bushy. Uh, I don't even know what he had originally. I don't even know. I don't even know who you are anymore, Jem. Let's go back. Let's... Okay, we had those ones. I think they're just a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've just realized Augustus has the same hair color as Jem, or hairstyle, not color, so we need to quickly change that. And I don't know, maybe he should go for the side. A little bit schmexy. Uh, da, 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 da. I want Augustus to look more like a Prince Charming. He has to look like a Prince Charming. This is not pr Prince Charming. That is semi Prince Charming. That is just a mushroom head. So I am just trying to find what's best. This is kind of like a prince, but I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna disagree with that look. Oh yes, very chic, very chic indeed. Okay, so that's the diamondy one. Where did we go? Oh, how fitting. The diamond one for diamond. <gasps> Oof, imagine if he had rocked up to his wedding wearing that. Mm. That would have been sad times. We could go with a really ultra over the top. Oh. Prince outfit. Oh, this is gorgeous, but it looks like not appropriate for a wedding. Uh, no. And, uh, no. You know, you don't want to take the attention away from the bride. You want to give the attention to the bride. <gasps> mm, that's pretty. Oh. Oh, I want to get married now. I mean, I don't because I'm not ready to get married, so no one get excited, but oh, it just makes you have serious feels when you start playing sibs and you have weddings and you dress your dream man in his dream outfit and it's just like all oh, too much oh dear what kind of shoes should he wear 
His shoes should match what's in his pocket, but I don't think we have an option for navy shoes. Hmm. Which is a real shame, because these shoes are just too, too much. Too much right now. Oh, I do like those though. <gasps> I think they just look a little bit dirty, so we're not gonna do that. And Diamond's dress is still going to be the pinky one. So maybe perhaps oh. we should have a little bit of pink like this. <gasps> oh, don't know about that. He would so wear pink for diamond, but that just, that just seems like a little bit much. Let's just go this. This is simple. This is nice, classic, can't go wrong. Jem's wearing this outfit, very Ooh. sexy. I like this a lot. And then diamond is in this beautiful pink dress. You can see the little, the little, uh, the little baby bump. I was gonna say lady lump, but that is not a lady lump, honey. That is a baby. And she's got the gloves on just because she needed something that's just that little bit over the top. So let's do that. And let's get this wedding on and ready. Okay, we're all in fabulous moods. And Ken just said, I got the scoop that some crazy party is happening at the bluffs right now. Want to check it out? Uh, no, Ken, you're meant to be walking us down the aisle. So nobody. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's plan the events. So let's plan the social events. Yeah. And oh my god, I can't spots. believe it's time it's big day. I feel like we've been waiting for this moment <laughs> yeah. forever. And isn't she radiant? Okay, let's go to the wedding option. Yes. And of course we've got the bride and groom, that's all good and well. And guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come with us. Kenny, of course, and then we're gonna have honey, and then we're gonna have Amethyst, Barbie, Ruby, Topaz, Jasmine. Uh, Teresa and the family have had a bit of a falling out, but I feel like we should still invite her. Courtney Kardashian, because there's going to be A-listers there. Why not invite Natasha and Maura, Rico's alright, and Summer Holiday. We'll just have everybody there. And Akadra. Wait, did we invite Barbie? Surely. Oh, cool. For some reason, I thought Barbie was an option. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, I think Clara looks like she fits the Barbie. You know what? Let's do something different though. Let's get Bob pancakes. Oh my God, he's so old. <laughs> oh, Bob. <gasps> Greg Anderson. Oh, imagine if Diamond hooked up with Greg Anderson, her grandmother's ex. I feel like you guys are gonna get really angry. Let's pick Aiden because he's already in a bow tie and Diamond likes that. I feel like you guys would get really angry if I do that, but I kind of want to do it because, just because it's spicy. And everyone makes mistakes, right? You know, you can't always be perfect. Where is this big house? I want a big and fabulous wedding at a really awesome place. Really awesome place. Really awesome, awesome, awesome. What? Where's our thing? Where is our option? Gonna be kidding me right now. You, what? Oh. Where is our special place? Okay, everybody, we've made it to uh, the wedding venue. I just had to change it into an art gallery, hence why there's a random lady on the easel right there. <laughs> Who goes to someone's wedding to paint? Anyways, whatever. And damn, Amethyst, what kind of a mood are you in? Loving her vintage Valentino. Uh, but yeah, we're here. Had to change it to be an art gallery because it wasn't working as a lounge, which is weird because you can still usually have weddings at lounges. And this place is just so huge. Oh, I know I showed you guys this venue uh, in another video when we were looking at venues, but it's made by a simile who has a YouTube channel called uh, Cutie Chin. She has great builds and this is another one. Oh, I like how those kind of uh, put together. That's quite sweet. And yes, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. We have so many bars. I don't even know if we have enough people. I think we just need to hire several of them. Oh, okay. All right, maybe not. I was gonna say, can we just hire more? You should be able to hire multiples of everything, really. Can we hire a photographer? Nah, I didn't think so. But you should be able to do that too. Anyways, so this is this is the amazing, uh, the amazing place that we have right here. So what I wanted to do was to get Diamond up here to get a couple of photos 
getting ready. So we'll go here. Maybe if it's not too big, can we, oh, I wish Margie was here. One of you guys actually mentioned, why don't you get Margie's grave and like bring it to the wedding, but then it involves going into Barbie's household and yada, yada, yada. Uh, so I wasn't, I wasn't as stoked about that idea, but it would have been cute. It would have been cute. Can we call over? Can't call over anyone. No one's close enough to us. <gasps> Sad times. Oh, look at Onyx, her little brother, such a cutie. I think we're just gonna have to go and find Barbie. Excuse me, Bob Pancakes, what are you doing in our bedroom? He secretly has a thing for Barbie. Ooh. Why are you down? Oh, she just needs to have fun. Don't worry, we'll have fun soon. Just first of all, have some time with your mom. Just flash your mom, say, mom, you look amazing. But really, Barbie just has to tell her how amazing she looks because she's the bride, but you know, if you're the bride, you would definitely tell your mom that she looks beautiful. <gasps> Look at them in their dresses. They have the same hair and earrings. They probably, and necklace. Wait, no. They probably planned this so that they look all the same. Oh my gosh, Barbie, you're so skinny. Oof. What is she doing? Uh, having a drink to calm themselves down. Maybe a drink for Margie. And I'm loving just all this pink. Ken's pink, her pink. So cute and ah, oh, jam. You, I, oh, you're such a hunker spunk. Okay, is that bad to say hunker spunk? I don't know if it is, but if it is, I apologize. Okay, so let's. Once we chat, oh, okay, cool. We're chatting. Let's chat here. Let's bring the ladies to this beautiful mirror. Wherever Amethyst is, I wouldn't mind if Amethyst, oh, there she is. Oh, Amethyst, she looks so nice. I like how she's got her own style on her purple lipstick and everything. Oh, good, she's come into the room to get ready with the other girls. Excellent. Okay, quickly come in here. Quickly grab Diamond. I mean, grab Amethyst. Oh, look at all the three girls together. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Getting married vicariously through Bobby. I love their dresses. I just love their amethyst. It's quite different. But for sure, Bobby and Diamond. Bobby probably gifted Diamond the same earrings as her so they could match and they got their hair done together. Then Amethyst just was like, I'll just do my own thing. I'll wear the necklace I bought from my thrift shop. Okay. Okay. Let's just have a look in the mirror. Just freshen up before we go outside. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a midnight wedding. Quickly, we don't have time for this. Okay, no, it's okay. It's good. <laughs> a midnight wedding. How romantic. Well, I guess she wants to be a fairy princess. So maybe it's like when the clock strikes 12. It's like Cinderella, but... Augustus does save her and does marry her. Oh, you look so pretty. Oh, look at all these dresses. Jasmine and Barbie are probably bridesmaids wearing their matching fishtail dresses in different colors. That's kind of cute. That's a nice idea. Okay, let's do this. It's, oh my God, get married. Oh, oh my goodness. Wait, we need to turn this up. This song's too beautiful. This is two beautiful game options. Audio, master volume. I want it as high as we can go. I want to hear it. Oh. This is beautiful. Okay, Jen, please get down here. Ugh. Oh, let's get them to sit. Oh, wait. No, you've got to get married first. Don't sit down. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the flowers falling. Okay, it's already past midnight, you guys. Probably reenacting Cinderella. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, look at that booty sway. Wow, he's really nervous. He's really got the jitters. Oh. Oh, please don't get morning sickness at your wedding. <laughs> How embarrassing. Bobby's like, I would miss this. Oh, stroking his chin. So sweet. Oh no, that's good. Topaz has different hair. <gasps> okay, everyone's here. Yay. Even though they're moving around a lot, let's just get a better angle. Could 
we get a good angle. Oh! Belly. I wish she gave birth at the wedding. Oh, look at little Ruby! Oh. I'm pretty sure she's wearing the same dress that her mum wore. So that's nice. Oh, look at them all. Hey! Look at them all stand down the line perfectly. Was that updated in a game update and I didn't realize? Oh. Thanks for coming, everyone! Passionate kiss. What? They're not having their first kiss. They went baby making. Oh, look at Ruby! So cute. She's like, I want that one day. I want to be just like my big sister. She's so pretty. Okay. Let's cut the cake. I hope our chef ended up coming and made us a cake. Because if he didn't, I'm going to be Devo. Where's the kitchen? Where's my cake? What? Did you make us a cake? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Barbie, quickly. Someone save the day. You didn't make me... Oh, oh no, there are fridges here. Oh, we're gonna have to... Oh, the wedding's over, you guys. The wedding's over because it's out of time. I mean, we can always just get a little white cake made quickly. Okay, this place is almost like it's too big to party. <laughs> oh. oh my god, let's get some drinks. Okay, let's order drink. You know what, let's get a DJ for starters. Because I just assumed when you ask for entertainers that they all come, but they don't. So we'll get the DJ headliner now. And those of us who stay back after the wedding can enjoy that. And, uh, oh, she's a little bit hungry because our caterer never came. I did ask for all of this, you guys. I asked for Bob can Pancakes, and Bob Pancakes didn't make us any food. Like, what are you doing, man? No, what is this? Did you put it in the dining room or something? Did you put the food anywhere? Did you even make food, buddy? I don't think he did. He's getting too old for this, clearly. Ugh. Oh, well, we'll just eat our bowls of chips and be happy. <laughs> okay okay let's 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 do something here let's get a buffet because clearly bob pancakes just is not he's he's just not i don't know he's just not fulfilling our request oh, huh? all righty let's maybe get a little bit of a flood on uh, huh? uh, once, we, uh, once we call it a dj yeah. guy Oh my gosh, Diamond, where are you? Oh, she's all the way upstairs. Girl, you can't be in bed right now. I did so much for you. I did so much for you to prepare you for this wedding and you just go to bed. Have a little bit of appreciation. <laughs> okay, everybody get some food. Everybody grab a serving. Oh, Bobby, look at that strut. Woof. And, uh... Augustus maybe had a few too many whiskeys because he's obviously stripped down. He's obviously feeling right at home at his own, uh, his own wedding. Amethyst looking beautiful as ever. It's just a very calm wedding. I don't know. It's intimate. Except it's in the biggest and hugest venue you could ever pick. It's the Roberts here that we're talking about. So of course they're going to be pretty out there. Is there something over here? Where did you get that from? Where did you get your ceviche from? Probably from the buffet we just put in. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. How you doing? <laughs> it wasn't four in the morning we could invite Honey over. Oh my gosh. Oh, Diamond. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't do that. Oh, that's embarrassing. You guys, you can't tell me I didn't try and look after her on her wedding. I tried. I really did. She just... Didn't get there in time. <laughs> oh, what a disaster. And our DJ headliner never came. Oh dear. At least these two are having a cute time together. That's right. And Jem is tripping out on the uh, this thing. He's like, it's the Hunger Games. Okay, let's get you back. Let's have some time with your fam. 
<laughs> he's even tired as well. Oh, maybe this is our perfect chance to have a little bit of a flirt with him. I feel like Greg Anderson is... I don't know, I just feel like Diamond could really go there. Let's just do a friendly introduction. Hey, hygiene's fine. Just a, just a little friendly introduction. And then you can get, you can get some fruit diamond. Okay. okay, she's almost ready. She's feeling playful, that's good. Playful is flirty and flirty is love. Where are you girl? Coming downstairs. Look at those gams. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess it's the morning after the wedding. <laughs> it wasn't the best wedding, but it is the Sims and you never know what's gonna happen. It's just annoying that sometimes when you ask to... Oh my god, maybe that's Margie here. Maybe Margie did come to the wedding. Oh, bless her. Okay, let's go see Greg. Maybe she's just had some cold feet after the wedding and she's like, oh my god, I'm locked in and she's kind of freaking out. I'm having a baby and... Oh no, he left! Oh well, at least we tried. At least we tried. Okay. Okay, you've got to get some food, girl. You've got to get some food. And you know what? They can probably stay here and just enjoy it. Oh, finally our DJ comes. <sighs> just what a what a nightmare. This was not the perfect wedding. It was not the perfect wedding. Not at all. Okay, let's grab this. Keep dancing, Barbie. Party girl. Move that booty. Move that tiny, tiny booty that is physically impossible to actually have on a human. You know, if Barbie was a real person, she'd fall over because her feet are too small to support herself and her boobs are too big. It's true. Not that large breasts would ever affect a regular person's balance, but because of her, all of her proportions, they do. Oh, you're hearty. You know what? You can invite, you can invite, uh, honey, your crush. Oh, can't you invite her? Like, can't she come here now? Send a flirty text. Ooh, Jesse, we have a little bit of a relationship with. Oh, Nita! Yes, let's get Nita to come around. I love Nita. I love her. Let's get him to get with Nita. I like that. And then maybe, is Greg Anderson. Are we. Have we met Greg Anderson? Oh, no, we haven't, so we can't hook up with him. Well, maybe that was for the best. All right, you guys, I'm sorry that this wedding didn't go to plan. This is what often happens when we play The Sims, but you know, I think it was a pretty wedding and it was very nice in any case. And they're happily married, which is cute, but I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon.